Hello everybody! Welcome to the Diamond Hand Racing Series! Black Birch and Rhino Creed here on a beautifully sunny day here on the moon. Considering the moon has no atmosphere, isn't every day a sunny day, Buck? Now don't you go bringing that science mumbo jumbo into this. Anywho, let's jump into this, Dr. Hawking. The year of horse finals is wide open. Any one of these apes has the chance to be troop champion and move on to the DRS Lunar Championship Series. Coming out of Group A, Chandler Gray and his Porsche 934 RSR, and Monty French and his Audi RS6 tied to advance to the finals. The big question here is, does Monty French have the energy to get through these finals? He's a tired ape, Ryder. He works all week while that youngster Chandler Gray doesn't have a care in the world and is footloose and fancy free come race day. Out of Group B, French ape Hal Richard in his 1990 Mercedes Benz 500E bested the Bavarian ape Fritz Frentzen in his 1973 BMW 3.0 CSL by a single point to move on to the fight. You can just smell the good tannies, cigarettes, and cheap table wine coming off that Halbert Richard. How he's made it to the finals is anyone's guess. One of these days, remind me to ask you what the nation of France did to hurt you. The year was 1965. A young Bridget Bardot. I, I said one of these days. Our drivers are formed up on the grid. Chandler Gray is our pulse. Monty French beside him. In the back row is Halbert Richard and Fritz Frentzen. And it's lights out for the Europores Finals Heat 1! Crane out to an early lead as Frenzen gets airborne in the chicane, oh my! French and Richard get sideways out of Crater Corner. Gray extending his lead. French rolls over, collecting Halbert Richard in the process. The youngster Chandler Gray just needs to bring his car home in one piece for maximum points. And he does it! Buck, what happened up top in Banana Chicane? I was gonna ask you the same thing. Clearly, Fritz went all Dukes of Hamburg and got himself in a whole heap of trouble. It's this point right here where old friends and knew he fritzed up. Monty French was on two wheels as well. Speaking of French, in the infinity pool, he just drove straight into the barrier and rolled over. I told you he was tired. And then on cue, Burt Richard doesn't give one Notre Dame and slams into the back of him. That shady Frenchman gives me the crates, Ryder. Wow, okay. Chandler Gray finishes for the maximum five bananas with a time of 18.412. He sits on top of the leaderboard all alone with those five bananas. He'll cycle to the back of the grid for Heat 2. Monty French on pole, Halbert Richard next to him, the Duke of Hamburg, Fritz Frenzen in third, and our points leader Chandler Gray in fourth. The lights are up, and they get away cleanly. Through banana chicane, it's French, Richard, and Frenzen and Gray come together. Richard makes a move on French going into the infinity pool. Again French rolls it, but this time Richard is able to get around him. And now it's his turn to grab the easy win in maximum points. And he does. Halbert Richard with the Heat 2 win. Looks like Chandler Gray got a little too impatient up there on the reactor straight. He was carrying a lot of speed out of Banana Chicane, but ultimately acted like Credit Suisse and crashed hard, taking old Deutsche Bank friends down with him. And back in the infinity pool, I'm worried about Monty. I know his job's a drag and his wife and kids are all up in his business, but for the second time in a row, he just rolls over and grabs a few Z's right in the middle of the race. Has anyone checked in for narcolepsy? With that casual 22-4-26, Halbert Richard is now tied with Chandler Gray on top of one of the stranger standings we've seen here at the DRS. Two heats, two finishers. Let's see what Heat 3 has in store for us. Richard on pole. Frenzen outside front. Chandler Gray in the third spot and sleepy Monty French in back. Well, at least Monty can get a nap in peace back there. It's lights out for the third time today. Side by side they come, all bunched up, and Frenzen flips it in the chicane again. Gray all over the back of Richard as he desperately tries to find a way around. Gray tries to muscle his way through and spins! Richard presses on. Will he get the bonus banana? No! He crosses with a 20.002. Chandler Gray finishes in reverse to grab what could turn out to be a significant three bananas. Coming out of the chicane, Fritz goes all Duke to Hamburg again. Looks like he was about to end Monty French's race, but he summoned his old man strength and muscled on by that Bo Duke wannabe. Of course, by the time Monty got to Crater Corner, he decided that he had done enough work for the day and that those damn kids can pull their own weight around here and settled in for a nap. Meanwhile, back in the infinity pool, Chandler Gray learns his first lesson in Porsche 911 ownership. Snap over, Steer! He did do a good job of finishing in reverse and grabbing some bananas. So after three heats, Halbert Richard sits atop our leaderboard with 10 bananas. Chandler Gray, the only other ape to finish a heat so far today, is in second with eight bananas. These two will definitely advance on to the DRS Lunar Championship. French and friends are now acting the part of spoilers. Chandler Gray has the fastest time so far and looks to snatch that bonus banana while sitting on the front row. 
Turn up your sound. It's lights out and away we go. Two by two, they come to the chicane. Gray puts a move on Fredson. He makes the pass and immediately puts daylight on the pack. Gray, all alone out front. He's on a scorcher. And again, Monty French is going to take a nap. Chandler Gray, all alone as he spins it around and backs it across the finish. Frenson in second, and Halbert Richard grabs third. Chandler Gray was on a tear. Once he got past Frenson in Crater Corner, it was all over. In the infinity pool, Monte French just couldn't pass up those fluffy moon rocks, and for the fourth time today, pulls over and takes a nap. I don't blame him. I would if I could. With the fastest time of the day, Chandler Gray takes the top spot and secures his position as troop champion. Fritz Frensen grabs three bananas to get on the board and Halbert Richard finishes third and will join Chandler Gray as the Europores number two driver. It looks like our paths will cross on again, Halbert. I'll bring the jam next time. I don't even want to know what this is about, do I? The year is 1965. Buck, buck, Brigitte buck, Bardot. Buck, 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 buck. Okay, okay, I'm telling you, Ryder, you'll want to hear this story. Pretty sure I won't. Let's wrap this up. We'll have a whole new troop next time. We will. I'm so excited I can barely contain myself. Before we go, folks, please hit that like button, smash the subscribe, and drop a comment to let us know how we're doing. For Ryder Creed, I'm Buck Burge. And remember, apes, hold on to your bananas and keep the shiny side up. So long, everybody. <laughs>